بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مسز أبو الهول منصور كرنل حارب بن حاضر فرنس ليديز اند جنتلمان It gives me a great pleasure to be here with you again to give the third Khalaf Ahmed Al Habtul Lifetime Achievement Award part of the Emirates Airline Festival of Literature. I want to start my speech by thanking you, Mansour, of all your effort. You are an ambassador of United Arab Emirates to the world. As a businessman, we work hard, parallel to our leaders, to raise the name of my country, United Arab Emirates High, on the economy investment arena. You are, Mansour, working just as to raise the name of the United Arab Emirates on the culture arena. Each year, the Emirates Airline Festival of Literature gets better and better. Today, the festival is recognized as the biggest event of its type in the region, attracting the world top authors, and I am proud to be part of it. For that, Mansour, I salute you. Really, I salute you. Because, because the UAE is young nation, the world assumes that we are not culturally rich, but we are. I speak from personal experience. From my personal experience, I was raised from a young age to learn and love pottery. As a child, my late father, Ahmed bin Muhammad al-Habtur, rahmatullah alayh, used to take me to the desert with him to teach me hunting and riding camels. I don't want to say horses, because I ride after that. <laughs> and, come, and come night time, we would share our dates. We, we share our dates with our camels, and he would read me a pottery by uh, Al-Mutanabbi, Ahmed Shawqi, Ben Zahir, and his own poems. The UAE is rich in so many ways, in history and culture, and I'm happy that the world is now starting to learn about our great thinkers, poets, writers, artists, both men and women. Which brings me to that reason we are gathered here this afternoon. It is a great pleasure to be here today to honor my great good friend, the late Wukhalid Muhammad bin Hadr, one of the most famous poets in the United Arab Emirates and in the GCC. And you, Abu Khalid, for so many years and always admired his spirit and admiration. He was forward thinking, a man before his time. He was fountain of knowledge, a walking encyclopedia. He was honest, always spoke the truth, no matter what. And above all, he was a man who saw the beauty in life, in love, and in family, and in the nation. Muhammad bin Hadir always wrote using classical Arabic. He was a man proud of our heritage and the culture of our country, and he was passionate about it. I would like to read you verses of one of his poems and ask you to forgive me ahead because pottery is not a gift I was blessed with while all my family, they are really, they are there, except me. هذا يقول فيها هذا أنا اليوم والله هني أكثر عرب موجودين هناك يقول في هي تلك الفتاة هذه قصيدة كتبها وهداني إياها يمدح فيها الحين ما بأولاد يزعلون حارب ولا حد ها؟ <تصفيق> أنا مخبنا هاي. <تصفيق> إيه. 
يقول هي تلك الفتاة الرداح البضة التي كانت تحلق جمالا على قمم السحاب يقول هني الحسن أحمر والحسان ورود والعاشقون لدى الحسان عبيد يا من فتنت بخدها وبثغرها والعاشقون لدى الحسان عبيد يا من فتنت بخدها وبثغرها هل لي إلى تلك الشفات ورود ورود رديم مش قصد ورد ما تفكر فيها أنت ورد في لبنان ورود فأذوق من شفتيك أحلى خمرة روح الحياة إلى الموت تعيد حلم لقائك لو تحقق مرة فالعمر عيد والحياة خلود رحمة الله عليك يا أبا خالد هذه القصيدة من بو خالد في 2004 بو خالد ماي جريت فريند يو ار ديلي مست من اند ومن لايك محمد بن حاضر شود بي ريكونايز ذي ليجاسي تريجرد فور اور تشيلدرن اند جراند تشيلدرن I want to call on our government today to name a landmark after Muhammad bin Hadr. <laughs> Let people wonder who is this man is and learn about him. Muhammad bin Hadr, Aosha bin Khalif al-Suwaidi, Fatah al-Arab, and many other, those are our true cultural ambassador to the world. And, with, and we should honor them and keep their work alive. I would like to express my gratitude to Abu Khalid family to, of being with us today to celebrate his life and his legacy. Thanks to people like Muhammad, the UAE has managed to retain his culture and heritage. The UAE has evolved from desert to a world-class country it is today one of the wonders of the world. The UAE has done whatever countries have failed to do. We have a strong and diversified economy, economy which started with trading many years ago. Today, this day, trading is a large portion of our economy, thanks to our location and leadership, the location between Europe and the Far East. Fishing and pearling were once a main source of income until the discovery of oil in 1962. People think of oil when they hear of the UAE, but oil is no longer the core of our rich and diversified economy. Despite the changing in appearance of our landscape, we have preserved element of our past. You can still experience desert life. Falconary, visit fishing harbor, souk, museum, and cultural center. You can still see camel roaming free. This is our past and should remain part of our future. In just over four decades, we have transformed our trucial state into world-class country. That is the envoy of the world. Today, the United Arab Emirates is home to of the world's most famous museum, the Gangham and the Louvre. And we have home, a growing museum, like the Women Museum, founded by Dr. Rafi Aghbash. Winner of the first Khalaf Ahmed Al Habtoul Life at a Time Achievement Award in, 19, uh, in 2014. I am proud to call this nation my home, and so are many expertise from all over the world. The move of their families here, they invest here because they know 
the UAE offered them sound investment with endless opportunity. They provide them with home and quality education or for their children. It is a place where their business can thrive. And most importantly, it offers them safety and security while other countries are shutting their doors to people based on their color or religion. The UAE welcomes everybody in respect of their belief, their religion, race, or nationality or culture. The UAE is safe haven of the world. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Shukran.